Thank you. Thank you. I'm surprised that you will invite the father of a wacko bird to come and speak to you. First of all, I must say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you that poured your souls into helping my son, Ted, get elected as U.S. Senator from Texas. Thank you. And you know, I remember when Ted first decided to get into the Senate race. Nobody knew who Ted was. His name recognition was at 2%. And he was running against the most powerful man in the state of Texas. With $250 million in the bank and a barrage of $35 million of vicious attack ads. The establishment told Ted over and over again, quit, it's impossible. But we, the people, had a different idea. So I salute you because it is because of you, the grassroots, that Ted Cruz now is representing all of Texas and fighting the establishment in Washington, D.C. And I know that we have been through disappointments in the last election, but it is not time to give up. You know, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, though a righteous man falls seven times, he gets up again. You know, when you stumble and fall down and are there on the floor, you got two choices. You can either stay down there feeling sorry for yourself, or you can get up, wipe your bloody nose, and move forward with twice the determination. And I know that's what each and every one of you is ready to do. So I salute you. You know, it was saluted that I, like my brother Roberto Gonzalez, we have a history of coming from a country where we knew what it was to lose our freedoms. As you heard before, I was involved in the revolution in Cuba, was in prison, was tortured. But by the grace of God, I was able to come to the greatest country on the face of the earth. And I am so proud to live in the greatest state within the greatest country on the face of the earth. I'm proud to be an American, and I am proud to be a Texan. And just like you see in those flags flying around, when they are trying to take our guns away, we said what those patriots in the city of Gonzales said, come and take it. Going back to scripture. In Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, people mourn. I want to talk first about the first half of that verse. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. I am so thankful to hear so many people here this afternoon involved in running for school board. I want to encourage each and every you, every one of you, if you have not heard Pastor Rick Scarborough, if you haven't read his book, I encourage you to do so. And learn how Pastor Rick Scarborough was able
to take over the city, the city school board in his district with strong constitutional Christian conservatives and change school board totally around. We need to do that in every school board in this state, in every school board in this nation. We have to start at the grassroots level. And you know very well that school board election is normally at off times. Few people go to the polls. If we get the grassroots energized, we can take over every position on the school board and run the liberals out and get education back to where it should be.